Hello again, everyone. I'm Deacon Barry, and I'm so happy to be exploring the birthplace of Morians. Let's go. I'm wearing my red shirt today, once again, another red shirt, because it feels appropriate to wear Avatar Red when playing this game. It, it somehow makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, that's obviously a dead end. I can play with the candlestick. Do not go near that, Avatar. Why? Why not? Why should I not... Uh, it makes me think that I should be a little bit careful about this chest, since the the Guardian usually taunts me for a reason. But I think I'm going to need to mess with this chest, aren't I? If you say that. Alright, so I'm gonna be... I'm gonna get myself into defensive mode, get my life meter up, pull up my inventory, get ready to potentially drink potions or use rock flesh. But I guess I won't do it just yet, because I don't want to waste... Well, no, I can make a lot of rock flesh. Maybe I should just cast rock flesh before I, uh... Seven piles of dirt, eleven piles of wood... Hey, what the hey? Rock flesh! Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Interesting noise. Alright then, that was easy. I think I just got really lucky there, because I just pulled two levers and suddenly it happened. Works for me, alright! Off we go! I think I'm getting really lucky with the lever puzzles. I don't... <laughs> I think there was probably some sort of thing you were supposed to learn there, or some sort of tactic you were supposed to... That was awkward. <laughs> just kind of... Well, who cares about physics? I'm just... I got hit by a thing! I'm just going to stop in midair now. Fair enough. Okay, there's a lot of webs here, and bones. Makes me... Ooh! Hey, the reagents required to make a, a stone flesh. Right, and my stone flesh is still on, right? Yeah, grab that chest while stone flesh is still on. Hey, c congratulations! An explosion happened, but it doesn't matter because I've got stone flesh. What is this? The skull of quakes. It looks like a weird skull. Okay. The skull of quakes. So, if I use it, is it going to, uh... Hmm. It makes it a targeting icon. If I use it on myself, I don't quake myself. Okay, well. I thought this would be a direct use kind of situation, but it's not. It's 50 obsidian coins. I realize I left my money... I left all my money back with the necromancer, didn't I? Am I, uh... I hope that my money that I left with the necromancer still stays there. Otherwise, I can get... I can always get money. There goes my Rock Flesh. Rock Flesh is an incredible spell. Rock Flesh is really, really an incredible spell. I will take this cash. 50. 50 obsidian coins. Alright. And the only other option is to go this way. Hello there, spiky balls. Big spiky balls. I wonder if I'll ever need that open ground spell anywhere else. I'll have to remember that spell, just in case I need it. It seems like... It seems like you only use it at that one point in the game. Interesting. Wonder how I get to the other side of that. It's not locked, so it doesn't require a key. I'm starting to wonder if I get through this at all at this point. I can't jump. Is there a lever nearby? If there is, it's well hidden. Huh. I, I can throw I can probably throw things through the grating. I don't know why I'd want to do that, but I could, right? I was able to put something through a grating before. I don't want to put the book, but let's say this bomb. If I uh, take it, I can pick it up and put it on the other side of the grating. No? I was able to put the torch on the other side of a wall once. Oh, well, never mind. I'm not sure what the point I was trying to prove there, but... If that was a way to solve the puzzle, then... Then I could potentially do that, but I guess not. I got hit by a spiky ball. Oh, oh the, the skull of quakes! I recently got the skull of quakes. Then there's a weird thing. Maybe I should use the Skull of Quakes! That would be the natural- <laughs> Holy macaroni! I had totally underestimated those balls. To be fair, I ran right into those balls. I, I, I was totally underestimating the power of the balls. No? No? 
No. No. Okay. Wrong answer, but nice try. Nice try. Way to think within the skull. <laughs> that's the that's the way to use your skull like or something. Ah, that's terrible. Alright, so once again, this was the dead end which we encountered the skull of quakes. Hmm. Ah! There seems to be a small channel here. A suspicious channel with a thing that looks like a rune. Skull of quakes? No. Alright. I'm thinking. But I'm thinking a bit too hard on this one, aren't I? So, back here, we opened up the door using the chest. Fiddling with the levers more doesn't- Okay, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Holy- Ouchie. Okay. That's what the- uh, That's what the Guardian was talking about. So only I would set off a trap after I've uh, completed the task. Bedroll, please? Can I- I thought it was B for bedroll. Wasn't that a quick key, quick hotkey for bedroll? I did bring my bedroll, didn't I? Do I have my bedroll? Bedroll, where are you? I want to rest. I could just- I could just drink a red potion. But I am so miserly with my potions. I think I left my bedroll behind. Whoopsie doodle. Well, no rest for the avatar. If I have my bedroll, it's just not working at the moment, because I think it was... Wasn't it B for bedroll? Or was it S for sleep? Like, no, okay, whatever. Who cares? I've got plenty of red potions. I'm just worried that I might need another red potion in the future. And careful with that flask of oil, Avatar. So... I... Also, I should mention that uh, there was this bug. That, uh, it, that the bag bug. I, okay, then. I, apparently I can get through here. That was kind of surprise. That was a surprise to, to me. Okay, you gates are annoying. Cut it out. Got it. What do I need to do? Do I need to jump? Don't shake your head at me, Avatar. Okay, I see your game. There we go. Anyways, the backpack bug was a known bug. However, and, and I, I thought it might be. Enjoying your stay on Pagan Avatar? Actually, I am. But, okay, the backpack bug was a known bug. Uh, however, you can still use bags. The bug does not occur when you use bags to store... That you, if you use bags to store your inventory and sort through your inventory, that will not cause the same inventory bug as the backpacks. Okay, so that one's not gonna go back. That's kind of, uh, kind of annoying. But fair enough. Obviously, I meant to climb over using this. I'm just gonna jump for fun and to make this path easier. Okay, that was a little bit awkward, but I was worried that the gate was gonna shut if I don't go jumping around. Whee! I'm the avatar! Hop, hop. Okay, I guess I'll walk. I'm afraid if I'll walk, things will start shutting down on me. Wait, where am I trying to go? <laughs> usually that's- there we go. Okay, that's usually something you want to know before you engage in a maze-like endeavor. Where am I trying to go again? There we go. Alright. Watch out for the balls. Okay, so is this a dead end? It doesn't look entirely dead, but can I get between these thingies? Doesn't look like it. Okay, try not to get stuck. Uh, just in case I die or get stuck, I'm gonna write in the diary. Uh, what was my last save? I can't remember. What to do with the body of Lithonian. I'm just gonna start back at entry number one. Oh, wait. I don't know where I... Crazy bomb, stuck bomb. I... That's right, I didn't want to overwrite the bomb saves entirely, but that's fine. Uh, so, going the, going the right way for a change. All right, going the right way for a change. Still haven't decided to look up who exactly that is. What, Nystol did you say? I, I, I gotta pull it, I, I really will, I really need to and will 
play the rest of the Ultima games eventually to figure out who the heck he's talking about. Oh, I see. And now... Aha! And now I can get... Why? Why? No, now why? What did that achieve? I got the Skull of Quakes, I opened up this gate. Uh, okay. Now I'm confused! I did something, now I'm confused. What does that... How? What does that achieve? What did I just achieve? I... Hmm. I have a Skull of Quakes. <laughs> Funny, I thought... For a second, I thought I just made progress. Was there a reason? I want to be able to go through... Oh, maybe the Skull of Quakes will take away these, uh, stalag mites. Maybe. Nope. Skull of Quakes! Maybe if I rub the keys on the Skull of Quakes. Something's not right here. Okay, well. Hmm. Oh! Oh, maybe that key I got earlier actually goes to more than one door than the door I just unlocked. There was another door back there. That might be key accessible. It might, or it might be unlockable. You know what I mean. We're back at this door. Here's our keys. Key ring. No, drat. Okay, well maybe somewhere back there, I'll have to reinvestigate. Nope. All right. Oh, I remember those ouchy <laughs> double combo. Not that it matters much. This was... Right, this is the entrance to the whole... That whole birthplace of Morian's area. So yeah, the answer is not very likely to be out here. Although actually, did I... Yeah, I checked what was in that barrel. Okay. All right. Moving forward again. I like this music better. I like this music better than the catacombs music. It's not saying a lot. Wait, I did check... I did try using the key of Scion on the doors, right? Key of Scion. Click. Key of, key of Scion, yes. Okay, just making sure. And this says something's not right, because it's only a key for making magic, and not for opening doors, you ninny. That's a bit harsh, but yes. Okay. <laughs> Is there a door down here, maybe? There's a hallway down there. There's a path down there. It certainly seems like there should be a way to get on that path. I've got a skull of quakes! Maybe I should pull more levers. Ah, that's fun! Can I, uh, can I unflip now? Can I unflip? It's not unflipping me. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm pretty sure this was- I was pretty sure that was the wrong idea, I just wanted to have more fun. I see. Okay. So it's that kind of puzzle. Can I get unflipped? Thank you! Alright, I'm not gonna mess with that again. Sorry! <laughs> it's fun, though. Well, the newest area. You! Oh, you! This gate is not my friend. Oh, it's not my friend. It's not my friend at all. Okay, so that that area seems to have a graphical... Yeah, okay, so I'm thinking that I'm never going down there because the graphics are all weird. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I was wondering if that was the way and it is not the way. Ow. Holy crap. Once again, I got key from chest. I used key from chest to open door over there. Why did I do that when I can just go through this crazy maze? What is over there that demands my attention? Well, the Skull of Quakes, right? I got the Skull of Quakes. All I can think of that's over there is the Skull of Quakes. That's the only reason I want to go over there. Is there a hole in this fence over here? Nope. Okay. I have to go through this maze again, probably. It's the only lead I have at the moment. Thank you for being cooperative. Pull up. Oh. I want to do a distance pull up. 
Jump and pull yourself up, Evan. Oh, well, forget it. <laughs> I just wanted to look cool. Alright, so there's nothing in this maze worth getting. It's just a maze to get to the other side. Fair enough. Pyong! Okay, so... On this side, all there is is access to this gate. Which, if I step on either of these platforms... No, if I step on this platform... Will open. Will it close again? If I step on the second time? No. Close. Open. Close. Open. Alright, that's enough fun for one day, Avatar. <laughs> uh, this game is fun! Stay away from the spiky ball. Huh. It really feels like what I'm looking for is over here. But that's not the case. Hmm. There's been a couple instances in the past where my gut has served me right. However, in this instance, I think I might be wrong. Does that rune mean anything? Maybe if I put the skull of quakes in a bag. <laughs> yeah, I can't just use it like that. Or what if I use it on this thing? Nope. <laughs> okay, what if I put the skull of quakes in the bag and then rub the bag with the key of the caretaker? Something's not right here. I'll say. Well, what if I put a piece of wood and a piece of dirt? into the bag with it. Will it create a failure? Will I lose my skull of quakes? No, the skull of quakes is actually a very benign object and the spell can get completed anyways. Well, interesting to know. I guess I can keep other objects in a bag and still make things. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't think I could use the, uh, the bag for organization purposes, but as long as I don't put, uh, other reagents in there? I guess we're okay. Let me try that again. Test. Test number two. I'm going to place the following objects in the bag. Then a piece of wood. And a piece of dirt. So, any bag can be used as a magic bag, a bag for making magic spells. As long as you don't store all of your reagents in that bag, because any reagents in the bag will be consumed. Nothing else is consumed, though. Cool. I learned something, at least. And I haven't learned what to do, but I learned something new. Well, maybe not rather unique, somewhat unique. I'm grasping at straws here. Nope. I feel like I'm being led in this direction. And then that shuts, so... Good luck being getting back. But the thing is... Oh, you can open it up from that side? Oh, no crap. Okay, then. Let's try the Skull of Quakes on this door. Damn it. Oh, I was really hoping. Skull of Quakes. Skull of Quakes. Maybe if I use the Skull of Quakes on the birthplace of Morians. Maybe I'm t putting too much emphasis on the Skull of Quakes here. Birthplace of Morians, a lot of magical stuff going on here. Skull of Quakes! The Skull of Quakes! Wait, is its eyes? Its eyes are blinking. What, were its eyes always blinking? It's got red eyes now. Oh, I guess it just kind of does that. Hmm. That's strange. Hmm. No, I think it just does that. Okay, I was like, did I just achieve something? No, it just kind of does that. Doesn't it? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep you with red eyes. Just because I think you look cooler that way. Yeah, nothing on the birthplace of Morians. Hmm. Skull of Quakes. Skull of Quakes. Sk 
Skull of Quakes. Is there something out here I need to use it on? Because that'd be... That'd be pretty crazy. Huh. There was... There was a thing. There was a thing that was very weird. I remember there was a thing. There was a red thing. I'm grasping at straws, but how far away was that red thing? Where was that red thing? I... I wanted to think there was a red thing on the wall, and it really... It was like, red thing! What's the red thing about? And it was on there's the red thing. Maybe if I use the skull of quakes on the red thing, please leave me alone. I'm trying to figure things out here. You gosh, you're annoying. You stay down, damn it. Don't make me skull of quakes, you. Skull of quakes. Skull of quakes. Uh, should I use a mask of thingy? No, I'm just going to... Just gonna run... I'm just gonna lead him and kind of run away from him. Okay. Fair enough. Let's try this on that. Skull of Quakes! It actually worked! Holy crap! Okay, then! I was really grasping at... Wow, how do they expect you to figure that one out? I just sure lucked that one. Okay, then! I mean, I really, really remember that thing. I messed with that thing a lot when I was stuck. So, actually, being stuck for all that time kind of paid off there. <laughs> being stuck earlier means less being stuck later, I suppose. Where are we now? Uh, it, well, I guess, is this the birthplace of Morians? Because we're in a nice room. This actually looks rather nice for a, uh, this is a rather nice room for a catacomb. Kind of room, a room in the catacombs. It's now eventide, in case you were wondering. It almost looks like this place has been recently lived in, practically. Okay, there's a curtain back here. Do we walk through the curtain? It looks like we walked through. I guess no, no, it's a tapestry. Okay, so this is just a teleporter room. Oh, I thought I made some progress. No, there's got to be. There's got to be. There's got to be something. There's got to be something. I'm there, would there just be a t well what is what does the teleport pad say I'm curious oh I didn't leave my teleport gem did I there it is okay <laughs> I was getting a little bit what's your destination upper catacombs okay that's all it calls this place is the upper catacombs I now have a teleportation or oh, wait it was upper catacombs or was that the wait there was a teleport there was a lithos teleporter and a catacombs teleporter right uh, Central, Plateau, Upper Catacombs, Nowhere. Wait, shouldn't there be four? There was, there's Central Tenebrae, the, uh, Mithrin, there should be the Lithos Teleporter, and this one. That's four. I should have four teleporters. Why do I only have three? Maybe I should play with the objects in this room and see if that does anything for me. Burn tapestry! <laughs> Burn tapestry! Kick! It really looks like this is a door I can go through. So then, what if I go to, like, the plateau? Okay, here, here I am at the plateau, and then, yeah, I seem to have lost my lithos teleporter. That's weird. That is rather odd. I think I might be needing one of these. Excuse me, Mithrin. I'm taking this. Might be useful. I'm glad I stopped by Mithrin's place, honestly. Maybe that's why they gave you the teleporter, in fact. Maybe so. Also, I should be careful. I'm not sure if Mithrin gets annoyed about stealing, but I don't want to press my luck. Oh, that's right, I left some uh, I left some scrolls here. In case I want them. Good day, Tegan! Hello, Mithrin. Can I give you some assistance? I want another potion. Hi, my friend. I have had time to conduct another. Here you go. And I can actually put it in your inventory this time because you've been taking care of it. Yes, I have. You don't have to put it on the floor anymore. I figured out that problem. It's cool that he would put things on the floor. 
I think uh, I think the Necromancer has uh, could could learn a thing or two from Mithrin there. Okay, well, I got another red potion and I got the Zealand shield. Maybe that'll help me. Maybe not. Let's put this gem in the bag. Since I'm pretty sure it won't magically disappear. Upper Catacombs. Well, it's a shame that I no longer have access to the Lithos Teleporter, but I guess I don't really need it at the moment. It's just kind of a shame. Okay, so why did I do that? I don't know. But I still have the Skull of Quakes. I can get the Skull of Quakes back. What happened to the Skull of Quakes? Did I just delete the Skull of Quakes? Uh-oh. Oh, good. I was gonna say. Alright, well, come with me, Skull of Quakes. Maybe you have more work to do. Or can I can I jam you in the hole a second time? <laughs> uh, let's... Before I leave, let's try that. Also, it certainly did cause a... Well, oh, I... I it no longer has the double-click feature. I think maybe it's used up. I'm not sure if it's used up or not, but come with me, Skull of Quakes! Zealand Shield! Hua! <laughs> I've stuck it on the door. Now will it open? But it's got a shield on the door. This is my offering. Just gonna hang it. This thing's amazing, it hangs anywhere. I can't get it off though. Wait, it's kind of hanging on me? So why am I doing any of this? Hmm. Well, that's an easier way to get through here. That's kind of cool. Huh, I improved my access at least. Not giving up yet. I don't give up so easily. Hey, yeah, I, found a, I think I found a great use for the Zealand shield. <laughs> that's a pretty good use for the shield. Alright, I'll come back for that shield later. <laughs> Ow. And let's investigate this room one more time. There's gotta be something in here. There's gotta be something in here. Why would they just give me a room to teleport to? Well, because you can teleport to it. I'm gonna climb up on this post. Alright. Look everyone, it's an avatar statue. This is the avatar. He did various things in various games. He also likes to jump around a lot. It's not a chest with a false bottom. Ah! The other levers are painful. Oh, I forgot to get a bedroll. That fireball effect is fun, though. I have to say, that's a cool fireball effect. Guess I'll go to Central Tenebrae. And potentially talk to the Necromancer? I feel like that's grasping at straws too, but maybe the Necromancer can give me a hint. I decided to come back and I don't know why. Good, all my backpacks are here. Hello again, Vividos. I have seen the birthplace of Morians. This is new. That is well. I hope your experience was as wonderful as my own. Farewell. Oh, is that it? I thought I was supposed to have a visitation. I have seen the birthplace of Morians. I, but I didn't, um, but I didn't, like, see the whole thing. Like, there was a, oh, maybe I'm not supposed to see the whole thing. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to just, okay, I just was supposed to go to the, pil I thought it, I was supposed to complete the whole dungeon. I think, I think I did what I was supposed to do. Okay. Maybe I've done what I'm supposed to do. Oh, okay, so, so now what do I do? That's the question. What do I do now? I remember Devin was in jail, so I could see how he's doing. Well, we'll figure out what to do next time in Ultima 8 Pagan. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I sure did. I'll see you next time. Good night. Oh, right, right, right. Save the game. Holy crap. I almost forgot to save the game. Morians. Morians was all sparkly. Was, was that my visitation? I did see sparkles. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Good night.